With Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up, there's no better way to combat the hassle of going out and shopping for someone than getting hooked up with a free trial of Amazon Prime. You get to take advantage of all the great flash sales and deals going on. Plus you get things like free two day shipping, sometimes even one day shipping. And you get to save 15% on all new games, movies, books, plus Amazon's movie streaming and music streaming service, all that good stuff. I'll put a link to the free Amazon Prime one month trial in the description down below. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 67 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. We have some really awesome ones planned. I know I say it each week, but we do. That's what this show is all about. And don't forget, I'll put all the links to the products you see in the description down below. But let's start off episode 67. Starting up, Caleb is hitting us with his quad display setup here. Pixels for days, all tying into his red and black Batman theme. But I guess just that top wallpaper there gives me that feel. But either way, still very solid. His three bottom monitors are the Acer R240HY. They're 24 inches a piece and come in at a very affordable price. So great budget options here for that nice immersive surround experience. And that overhead monitor is an ultra wide from LG, the 25UM57, just for some extra added screen real estate when gaming. For his peripherals, fitting perfectly with the color theme here, are some Red Dragon products. We have the Red Dragon Carora, the K502 keyboard, paired with the Perdition M901 gaming mouse, of course, on a red and black extended mouse pad. Now, switching gears to his custom water cooled PC, this is really sick because he has the Fantech Pro M case, and he actually modded that front panel to give it that infinity mirror effect, which is just really cool. But inside his PC is the i5 4690K CPU on an MSI Z97 Gaming 5 motherboard, 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and two MSI GTX 970s in SLI. But I love the whole color coordination here as well with the setup and the monitor wallpapers even. The LED lights inside the PC make everything pop with vibrance. And we have that red coolant and the red braided cables inside. And again, that infinity mirror mod is sick. Altogether, man, very nice stuff. I'll just recommend some zip ties for those cables behind your monitor. It'll really make it look much cleaner with those cables organized. Next is Luca, and he too is following this up with his own quadruple monitor setup this time with some extra, extra LEDs. And as you'll know, you'll see throughout this montage, he matches the colors of the lights with his wallpapers. That's just something you gotta do. Unfortunately, we don't have any provided model numbers for his monitors, but from left to right is an AOC monitor, a Samsung, and an LG monitor here, all 1080p and 21.5 inches for the screen. But you know, for not even being all the same brand, they do a pretty damn good job of all lining up nicely. Above that to the left is his TV, which is a 43-inch Philips TV that he uses with his Chromecast as an extra screen. Now for his peripherals, went the budget route with Logitech K520 keyboard and Logitech M560 wireless mouse on a Razer mouse pad, plus some Xbox 360 controllers as well. And then for audio is the Sennheiser HD 419 cans, which are awesome headphones for the price. And I'm actually including these in a future Top Tech under $50 episode coming up, so be on the lookout for that. And powering those headphones is the Audio Lexicon Alpha USB audio interface. Then over to his PC, again glorified by the LED lights inside. Inside is an AMD FX 6300 Black Edition CPU. Love seeing some variety on this show, so props for going AMD here. Cooling that is the Cooler Master 212X. We got 16 gigs of HyperX RAM and an XFX R7 360 graphics card. Now, one thing about this is, especially now with the holidays coming up and all the new components on the market, this is one of the best setups I've seen that doesn't really break the bank. Now, yes, obviously, it's all going to cost a pretty penny, but comparatively speaking, the PC is great for the price to performance ratio. The monitors are all 21 and a half inches, so they're not expensive really. And altogether, man, you did a really great job creating an awesome setup for considerably cheaper than what most people would spend trying to achieve this. And just that night, all those LEDs, this is really some cool stuff. Quick 180 here. This is the like complete opposite of the first two. This is extremely clean and minimal that strays away from that typical aggressive gamer look, if you will. This is his design bedroom studio, so not really intended for gaming, but since we show off, you know, just awesome setups as a whole, I definitely wanted to include this one. 
Both of his monitors are the Acer H257HU, a 25 inch 2560 by 1440p display. And with the silver bezels and the base, definitely fits it nicely. Under the monitor is a Bose SoundLink Mini, and we also have his Apple wireless keyboard and a Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse. They are both on a Corsair extended mouse pad, but I like that white and black contrast here he has going on. And the lights inside his Death Adder Chroma mouse he has tuned to white to complement that whole theme. Then off to the right side of his desk is the glorious NZXT H440 in white. Definitely missed that thing. Inside he has the Intel i7-3770K CPU, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a Gigabyte GTX 670 graphics card. Then throughout the room and across from his desk setup he has some nicely framed and mounted photos and these are actually from him. You can check them out at jxlstudio.com to see more of his work. Figured I'd give him a plug here because I just really like his desk setup. The organization, the whole minimal approach he has going on for the theme here is just really great. So props for that. Okay, now I know this won't be an actual gaming setup, but we've showed off Corey from the I'm Face Roll channel before, and he is back again with two killer custom PCs. And I mean killer, this is a tank. Like, is this not the most ridiculously awesome gaming PC you've ever seen? I love the heart and creativity Corey puts into his work, all the way to the nice airbrushing job on the tank to give it that gritty, rusty effect. Anyway, like I said, this is one of two he recently built, so let's check out what's inside this beast. It's built around the Thermaltake Core P3 case with an i7-6700K CPU with custom Thermaltake water cooling, 16 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on an Asus ROG Maximus 8 Hero motherboard, and an Asus GTX 1070 Founders Edition graphics card. But again, it's more than just the specs with this stuff. It's the LED lights, the great paintwork, and creating a shell that literally looks like a tank. This is just awesome. And then before this was his custom Warcraft themed gaming PC, which really just captures the hobby, you know, of taking two things and, you know, custom PC modding and a game you like and just creating something great. Inside this is an i5-6600K CPU with 16 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM on an MSI Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard with an MSI 970 all inside the Corsair Obsidian 750D case. Now again here just this custom painting, the vinyl and acrylic work here looks sick and he actually used a CNC machine to mill out the acrylic for creating that water cooling channel. This is just great stuff man, I'm always going to show your work off because this is what this show is about. We're all gamers here, passionate about stuff that we like, and something like this is just great. I know for me, it gives me a ton of inspiration, and I can really appreciate this stuff. And just a real quick memory jogger here, he built this TIE Fighter custom PC I showed off a few months back. If you want to get a look at his gaming setup, it is also sick. Just wanted to refresh your memory, just to give you some extra happiness, or sadness, either way. Now is Genesis with his nice wooden desk. Sleek curved monitor, a plant, some coffee, count me in. This gaming setup is also used for productivity and photography. You can check out his Genesis West Coast Instagram page. But altogether, this is definitely my style. I think you all know that. His monitor is the crazy awesome Acer Predator X34. Very popular for gaming. And his mount is from the Amazon Basics to, you know, keep it off his desk and to free up some space underneath for things like that Jawbone Jambox speaker there. Into the rest of his gear, he has the Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard, the Logitech G700S mouse, on the Corsair MM300 mouse pad. Now I do spot some Beats headphones there. Not too sure which ones, but I think that they're the Beats Studio headphones possibly. I'm not gonna rag on you man or anything, but trust me, your desk setup needs a proper pair of cans that'll do the job for you. And amongst other things on that Carlby desk is like an anchor USB hub, a metal Wally sculpture, all adds a nice touch. Underneath that is his PC, looking like the Corsair Carbide Air 240 case, but we have an i7-4790K CPU, 8 gigs of some ballistics RAM, and an Asus GTX 980Ti Shrix GPU inside. I'm really liking this desk setup, of course, you all know me. I love that whole wooden desk here, the plant fits in nicely as well just very natural and warming and that's what I love and that bulb lamp there is the cherry on top for a great desk setup alright guys that'll do it for episode 67 of room tour project hope you enjoyed 
If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. And like I said, check the description down below for all the products you saw listed in this episode, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be considered for a future episode of Room Tour Project. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed episode 67. Have a good day.